At the beginning of the making of this dress, I wanted the skirt to be pleated. But after I realized that the skirt was a little too heavy for my liking, I changed my mind and made an A-line skirt instead. It turned out quite well but not as good as I imagined. Still, it was good enough for a dress that only cost me $10 to make. If you are curious, here is the breakdown of the total amount that I spent for this dress. I spent 28 ringgit for the outer fabric, 11 ringgit and 40 cents for the lining fabric, 4 ringgit and 80 cents for the threads, and 2 ringgit and 20 cents for the invisible zipper. In total, I spent 46 ringgit and 40 cents, which is equivalent to $9.96. I used a basic bodice pattern which I drafted myself for this dress but you could easily get a similar basic bodice pattern online. I included the links to some of the free basic bodice patterns that you could use if you are planning to make a similar dress in the future. Since I don't have a serger, so in order to finish the side seams, I used this overlock presser foot to sew zigzag stitches along the side seams. Then I sew straight stitches on top of the zigzag stitches. This method gave me a very neat side seams. It looks as though the side seams were sewn with a serger. I use this method to finish the side seams of the skirt, skirt lining, pockets and sleeves. The rest of the pieces would be hidden so it was not necessary to finish the side seams. One thing that I regret about this project was that I did not add an interfacing to the neckline. So the neckline wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. If you are interested in making a square neck dress in the future, please add an interfacing to the neckline. It makes a whole lot of difference. It is always a good idea to add interfacing to any sort of neckline. The end result will be way more professional. After I had finished the side seams, I moved on to sew all the pieces together, beginning with the bodice, the skirt and the sleeves. Then, I would stop once in a while to press all the seams nice and flat. Pressing is a crucial part of sewing. It makes a huge difference to the garment that you make. If you notice, I spent a lot of time pressing everything nice and flat. Once everything had been joined together and pressed accordingly, it is time to install the invisible zipper. 
Since I don't have an invisible zipper foot, I use a different method to attach the invisible zipper. This method is slightly lengthy but it works well every time. I begin by marking about an inch above where the zipper should end. Then I pin the center back of the dress together. So basting stitches along the center back up until the mark that I made earlier. Back tag and switch to my regular stitch length and continue to sew all the way to the end. Then I press the seams open, pin the zipper in place and then hand sew basting stitches to secure the zipper to the seam allowances. Once that was done, I removed the basting stitches along the center back seams. After that, I sew along the ditch on the invisible zipper all the way until the mark made at the beginning. Finally, I proceeded to attach the lining of the dress to the zipper, connect the center back of the skirt lining, and hem the skirt and skirt lining. With that, the dress is finished. Let me know what do you think about this dress. See you in my next sewing project. Goodbye.